Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Osereme and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I went about the cutting and sewing of this beautiful kaftan kimono dress. So if this is something you're interested in, you definitely want to keep on watching. If you're still yet to subscribe to my channel, hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and let us get started with this video. dress i am going to be using a damax fabric both of them are the same fabric exactly just different colors so for the one i'm using for the body of the dress which is this um milk color um, fabric i have three yards and for the one i'm just using for the neckline i have one yard so all together i have four yards of fabric here to get started you're going to fold the bigger fabric you're working with into two equal halves first just like a symmetry like this and then after folding it into two you're going to fold it again to make it a fold into four so this way we are going to be cutting the front and the back of this um, dress together so you see i have it in four places now so i'm going to make sure everything is standing straight and arranged so once you're done arranging everything and everything is straight you can actually go ahead and iron this out to be sure that everything is standing perfectly go ahead and draw a straight line ar across the top to serve as the shoulder line or you can also call it the starting line so that you know exactly where you are taking all your measurements from next you're going to come to this folded side that doesn't have any cut and you're going to go in by about two and a half inches and now for the depth of the neckline i'm just going to come down by just one inch and i'm going to connect these two to give me a round neckline after drawing out the neckline from the center fold you're going to go in by half of your shoulder measurement but you add an extra one inch to what you have so if half of your shoulder measurement is seven like what i had in my case i used eight as my shoulder measurement here so once you're through with that the next thing we want to do is to add about six inches from where our shoulder stopped so from where my shoulder stopped i marked six inches this is going to be for the fold that we are going to have on the sleeve that's the special design on this particular kimono so when you mark your shoulder from your shoulder measurement go ahead and add an extra six inches now from the end of the six inches point you're not going to measure the length you want your sleeve to be so for me i marked it at 10 inches and that is all for the drafting of the shoulder area now for the width of the sleeve i came down by nine inches from the first line i had okay so i marked it here and then i'm going to connect the both points now together just like you see me doing like this next you're going to come to the center of the fold here where you had your neckline and what i'm doing is i'm going in by my hip measurement divided by four because my hip is the biggest part of my body so my hip measurement divided by four i marked it here and then from this point i'm going to go out by more inches now this is going to depend on how big you want your um kaftan to be okay so i added an extra six inches from the point i already had which i marked here you can add more and you can add less so after this i'm just connecting to meet the uh, armhole just like you see me doing like this this area is going to be folded let's not forget so now the measurement i have here i'm just going to take it all the way to the end so i'll just measure from here to the center and take this same measurement all the way to the end you can decide to make it wider the gown wider at the end if you want to or you can just take it down straight this totally depends on what you want for your dress so i'm done drafting out everything you can see the neckline you can see the shoulder and the sleeve and the body part so now i'm going to go ahead and cut everything out following the lines that i drew remember we arranged this fabric so that we'll be able to cut the front and back together which is what i have here so i'm going to change one of these two pieces to the front neckline to use as the front so i'm going to be doing this from the neckline so i'll just from where this front neckline start i'll just create a v you don't necessarily need to measure this so just create a v to go down a little bit and then go ahead and cut it out it's pretty simple just do exactly what i did in this video so from where the neckline stopped go ahead and create a v and use it to take 
all the way down make sure that what you are cutting off is not too wide okay so what i'm cutting off now as you can see as it's in a fold is about it's actually less than one and a half inch when you open it up it's not up to three inches what i took away from the center front so once you're done cutting it out it becomes two pieces and then the one that is full will now become the back so now the two pieces will become the front pieces so i'm arranging everything right sides facing each other on the shoulder like this and then i'll do the same thing on this other side as well and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine now and stitch the shoulders down so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching out the shoulders i also went ahead to stitch around the sleeve so that it's neat now when i was stitching out the shoulder i made sure to overlock the ends because this fabric usually frays a lot so you want to make sure to overlock as you are sewing as well i also did the same thing on this side so now the next thing we are going to work on is going to be the band for the neckline but before i take the measurement for the band around the neck i decided to make the neck a little bit wider so i just cut a little bit away from the neckline just like you see me doing like this just very little make sure it's like a v and then do the same thing on the other side as well don't increase the width of the neckline just trim a little bit away from it to just make the neckline area a little wider so once you're through with that you're going to come to the end of the front piece and you're going to measure from one end through the back neckline all the way to the other end that's going to give you the length you will use to cut out the bands you're going to use for this neckline when i took the measurement around my own as you can see i had a total of three yards and about um 20 inches so i went ahead to use it to cut out my band i even made the length of the band a little wider when i was cutting it out so now for the width of the band as you can see i have already ironed it in a fold but for the width what i have here is two inches as is in a fold i'm going to be using half inch to join this to the neckline so by the time we are done the band is going to fall into one and a half inch exactly so now i'm going to start from the end of the neckline of my dress i'm going to place the band on it right sides facing each other just like you see me doing like this and i'm going to go ahead and pin this um, band all the way around the neckline so this is going to be from one part of the front through the back neckline all the way to the other part of the front as well so as you can see i'm done pinning it all the way around the neckline so i'm going to go over and stitch it down and afterwards of course i will have to overlock the edges as well so guys i'm done stitching it down and you can see how neatly it looks i went ahead to also press it and like i said i overlocked the edges as well so this is what the front is looking like and it's actually going to overlap something like this when we are done making everything so now the next stage is for us to work on the design that we have on the sleeve that design that actually gives it the agbada effect that we see so now what i want to do is from the end of my sleeve here i decided to come up by about eight and a half inches and i made a mark after this go ahead and open up your sleeve like i'm doing here so that we can mark the area where we'll be putting that design on the sleeve so from this first point that i had i'm going to go in by three inches which is half of the six inches that we added to our shoulders earlier so now next thing you're going to do is from the second point you're going to pick up your fabric like this and fold it till you get to the first point i hope you understand pick the second point that you made fold it until you get to the first mark so i'm holding it now exactly on the first mark i hope that you understand i'll open it again and just try to explain to you guys again so from here to here i had eight and a half inches and then from here this area here to this area i had three inches so now you are going to pick the second point and fold it like i'm doing until you get to the first mark that you made i actually hope that you understand this so i'm going to go ahead and just pin it down at this point here so now this already gives us that agwada effect that's just it you can all you have to do is to just catch it and pin it if you want to stitch it for a very long extent you can stitch it down for a very long extent or you can just stitch it a little bit at just this shoulder point here which is exactly what i intend to do i don't want to stitch it all the way to the end i will just make a tiny stitch 
on the shoulders alone but you can actually stitch it longer than just the shoulder so this is what it will look like when you've picked it up like i just explained so this is for one side i'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other side as well and then go ahead and make a very tiny stitch to secure it in place I have pinned the other side of the sleeve down now so i'm just going to go ahead and just stitch those areas down that i pinned and i'll be right back so guys i'm done making my stitch and this is what it looks like when you're making the stitch you push the sleeve areas inside so it's just the area you want to stitch that you just fold in and then after that you have the you actually bring out the sleeve like i'm doing here and that's all that's basically all and this is what the other side looks like as well so now once you're chill with this the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and join everything on the sides okay so i'm going to turn this over to the wrong side you can see what it's looking like on the wrong side so yours should actually look like this as well it's very easy it's very very easy so once you're true now go ahead and pin the sides together and then head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down so guys i'm going to go ahead and stitch down this area that i just pinned and of course um overlock the edges as well you can see how it's already coming out here and i'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching the side you can see how neat it looks i also went ahead to fold the ends of the dress i totally forgot to actually um tell you guys about pockets i was supposed to fix it on both sides but i forgot to fix it fix it on the first um, part i stitched down but i did it on this other side and this is what i have so you can go ahead and fix your pockets but it's actually optional it's not compulsory so now that this is done the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is to mark the areas that i'm going to be placing my um press buttons so you're going to arrange the neckline very well make sure that one is no longer than the other and then go ahead and pin down everything in place so once you're done arranging the neckline you're going to be using this it's written slip button i think you can also call it a press button actually so i'm going to just remove one of it and i'm going to mark the areas where i'm going to be placing it on the neckline so i make my first mark here where my v the v neck started so i'm marking it here and i'm also going to mark it on the other side as well so here and here like this make sure they are exactly on the same point so from this first point i measured four and a half inches down and i marked it as well make sure you're marking on the both pieces in front so from here i measured down again four and a half and marked as well i felt like the chalk was not doing justice to this so i decided to change to a white chalk and just continue to mark all the areas like that i wanted to place the press button okay so from the third one i the third one i marked i'm also going to come down by four and a half inches and mark it and then the last one from here i'll mark four and a half inches so in total i i marked five points that i wanted to place this now you can measure to see where you want your slit to start from so wherever the buttons end is where the slit will start from so if you feel like it's too high for you you can add one more point to make it six buttons it all depends on what you want so i'm going to go ahead and start stitching them in place with my needle and thread so i'm going to sew the flat one on the bottom part of the neckline on the part that is going to be under and then the one with the hook will be on the part that is going to cover it i hope you understand so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch this down it's very simple it's just basically just almost the same way as stitching every other normal button so guys this is what i had after i was done fixing all the press buttons so all i have to do now is press them together like this and you are good to go so all five of them i went ahead to do it the same way make sure everything is straight so you can see after i was done fixing the boxings everything is still straight so now you're going to turn everything over to the wrong side so that we can mark the area where we are going to be placing the rope on this dress so that we can have that tightness that we have in front of the dress i have shared a tutorial on this particular thing before in the past but i'm just going to explain it again so first thing i'm going to do is to determine the center of the front piece so determine the center so my center is somewhere here i'll mark the center 
and then from the shoulder i'm going to measure down to my waist my shoulder to waist is 14 inches so i'm going to mark it here and do the same thing on the other side as well so guys from this center point here you are going to divide your waist measurement by four and whatever you get mark from the center to this side so mine was 6.25 so i marked it from the center to this first side and from the center again i'll mark it as well to this other side so whatever your waist measurement divided by four is mark it from the center towards the both sides so once you're through with that one thing i went ahead to do was to fold this fabric here it's just a rope it's about one inch wide so i'm going to place it on these points here that i marked and place it here as well on this other point just make sure you're doing it the way i'm doing it and make sure yours is facing the same direction so now this one will be tied around my waist when i put on this dress so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and just top stitch here and here please make sure you are top stitching only to the front not to the front and back else you'll not be able to wear the dress so guys after i was done this is what i have and this is what the other side is looking like from the inside so yeah this is all for the making of this booboo -boo kaftan and you can see what it looks like on me thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one